Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. It's early 2024 and we're going back and looking at features of the Hornet over the last few years that we missed but are important. Today, a really useful feature of the targeting pod. Today, we'll be using the lightning pod that we didn't know. It's the offset feature, and we're going to show how to use it in combat today. So, ahead of me by 10 miles or so, four vehicles that must be destroyed. Let me unpause and visualize them in my hub. There they are. Repause. I'm going to use the targeting pod offset method to drop four INS GPS bombs on those four targets without directing the T-Pod at each target. First, let's go through our usual system of setting the jet up and it's a good idea to refresh our memory at this point. I'm very rusty in the Hornet and you may be, you may be not. Air to ground mode. Let's select the JDAM here. They have, I think, a two and a half minute warm up time. We have to set each bomb up. So this station here, let's go to target of opportunity electronic fuse instant step to the next station do the same step to the next station do the same step to the fourth station do the same done next jdam display just remind myself to do master arm and it's already on release type for all is going to be manual go through to the mission screen it's i like to do this and it will become obvious why soon do my redundancy check. Let's check that I've set them up right. So station three is TOO. Step, station eight, TOO. Station two, TOO. Station seven, TOO. Back to station three. Bombs set up and ready. I know they're not aligned yet, but by the time we go and drop them, they will be. Next, let's get our FLIR or our lightning pod set up. So main menu, right screen, FLIR. First thing we need to do, because I'm feeling lazy, is point the teapot at the rough direction, and we just so happen to have a steer point or a waypoint near the target. So, down to our HSI here. Select steer point one and waypoint designate. It's all coming back to me now, viewers. We've now designated this steer point out of interest that has actually sent targeted information of that steer point through to JDAM on station three, but don't worry, we will overwrite that. So let's lock in here. We need to make the screen soy or assign TDC to it with sensor control switch right. Ping. We're going to zoom in from wide to narrow field of view and let's go in a few more steps here. All right, let's use our TDC target designator control or cursor controls to move around and let's designate one of these targets. That guy there looks juicy. Let's go in a bit more actually. I want to fit all of these guys on one screen and that's critical today. So I'm going to put him there. I'm now going to designate that target if I zoom out and show both screens with TDC depress and you'll see of course that the coordinates get added to station 3 JDAM and press ping. As well as that if I go back to our T-Pod we want to create a point track in this case so using sensor control switch right we're going to go from this mode to first an area track you can see area track up here and then again to point track i could cycle back to the original and go through them again just to refresh our memory of how this works we know because of the symbology here it's got a proper raster point track that will track that vehicle now whether it's moving or whether it's static and this is where the offset comes in so we've already designated station three with this target here I want to now designate the other targets, but without actually moving the teapot. So what I do is I press TDC depress again. Pip, and my little cursor comes up. I can now move it to another guy with my TDC controls. There, I'm gonna get that guy there, near enough. I need to zoom out again, and I'm gonna select my next bomb. So step to station eight. Now TDC depress. Ping, it's now sent the information from that offset cross to this bomb here. Now let's repeat the process. Let's go over here and get that guy there. Uh, if I can, that guy there, near enough. Step, TDC depress, ping, and we've now got another one. I'm doing all this without actually moving the teapot, and that's what all of this is about. All right, select my fourth bomb. Let's move this guy over here. Uh, just get there, near enough, and TDC depress. Boof, all bombs set up. So let's unpause, ping. Right, in range, I'm gonna just wait a little bit longer to make sure I get good hits. And one, 
two, three, four. So they all should hit at the same time, hopefully. Get my autopilot on. Remember how to do that. Barometric hold. Right, let's see what happens. Zoom forward because you're all very busy humans. Down they go. Come on, baby. Yeah, look at that. Four JDAMs on four different targets without moving the teapot. Cool, huh? There's one more variation I'd like to show. So let me just get everything set up again. Don't need the bombs this time. Do need the flare. Uh, let's waypoint designate to cheat over to the target. Let's make it soy. Let's make it narrow. Let's zoom in. So that worked for JDAMs. But if we were using laser guided bombs, that wouldn't work per se because the laser that we fire will only go where the teapot is pointing. So if I wanted to do a laser guided bomb attack, Let's just uh, get this guy set up here. I will go um, create an area track first with sensor control switch right and then a point track. And now if I wanted to offset across over to this guy here, chugga, 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 I would press TDC depress to designate that guy. But the laser guided bomb would still actually go for this guy here because that's where the laser would be firing. So if I wanted to drop a laser guided bomb on this guy, I would need to transfer the point track from him to him and I would do that in this case via sensor control switch right once twice three times I've now transferred the point track over to this guy I could now go and drop a laser guided bomb on him and that is how from point tracks we can designate multiple targets for say JDAMs without moving the teapod and how we can transfer locks to other targets to drop laser guided bombs I hope that was useful and bye bye